you can see where it actually was pushing on the disc when it was forced in there all right so we're gonna pull that apart and double check that inside there let's see if we can get a look at some of these threads in this block I mean, it's calf so they're usually pretty pretty stout so they just need cleaned out before we reassemble that <coughs> Now, let's see what the inside of this is looking like. And as I had suspected, you can see how, hopefully you can see that, you can see where the clutch fork is not onto the bearing. And that will allow you, not allow you to get it in the whole way. We have... The clip up there is actually forced off from the pressure, so let's pull this off of here, see what we got. So basically we have a fucked up shit like the thing's not, the plastic piece, the rubber's not even on it. Where's it at? So we're missing stuff there. We got a fucked up clip there. Trans still seems okay. Let's see here. This one here is a little damaged. We know this one was damaged. So we're gonna go over and clean up the threads. And uh, <clears throat> get that stuff taken care of. Now, this clutch fork, if you look at that, that's worn out and should be replaced. You know, that's pretty, pretty severe wear there. Throughout bearing feels good. So, I'd say right now we're at the point of pulling the clutch. What the hell was going on here, I wonder? That's pretty bad there. All right, so now I'm going to push the transmission out of the way and we are going to work on pulling the clutch off to see what we have damaged there. And then we're gonna get a list and parts for everything that we need. <coughs> to have so that we can get this replaced. I mean, hopefully we didn't, hopefully the, the disc itself is not damaged. So, all right, I'm gonna get this thing off of here. Kind of speak a little too soon. I pulled out three. One, two, three, and we're missing a bolt for the pressure plate. So that is gonna need to be replaced. So I'm gonna get the rest of these off of here. I just wanted to show that in. I'm sure it was in the other video when I was looking around so we can reference back to that. Okay. That's it. That's all of them. I'm just gonna set this like this against my knee. And I can reach up in here and pull this off the pins. All right. Now, here's this. You can see. I mean, it's worn normally. That's what they should look like. This clutch disc is shot. There is a very little life left on this. I would honestly spend the 160 bucks, order a new one of these. I would not reinstall this. Bent it a little bit from forcing it in because you can see it hit right here on this edge. That's pretty fresh to shove it down in. 
All right. So we are totally tore apart. We just need to go over and make a list and uh, start getting some stuff so we can get this reassembled and fixed properly. Okay, well, there's no sense in letting a good video go to waste. But uh, what happened was I had pulled it out and <clears throat> as you had seen, the clutch was shot and based on uh, the amount of time that the current owner wanted the car back, they were able to find a brand new complete ACT clutch kit, which was installed already. Uh, it actually came down, uh, which would have been yesterday in the evening, and he dropped it off, hung out for a little bit. We kind of, you know, while I was working on it, we got the trans kind of lined up, handed me a couple tools, just kind of chit chatted about the car. He's really excited about getting it. Um, you know, he only owned it a short time before the transmission went bad and it was just a downhill uh, spiral for him. So we are right now in the process of actually finishing up the install, okay? The trans is in, the new clutch is in, we replaced the clutch fork. We now have all the correct bolts. Our wiring is going the right direction. Uh, the starter was fixed. We got the bolts on the starter. Um, you know, I got this side, I got that axle in. Um, I'm gonna do the oil change for him. Um, you know, just get everything back together the way that it should be with the correct fasteners. Um, where's that? I got, I got a bracket for the fastener side intermediate shaft. I dug that out. That's here. I have the bolts for that. You know, these are some of the ones that were left over. I mean, I got to get, I'm going to be replacing the lower ball joint bolt on the other side. I'm going to stick a, another, uh, I'm going to stick a used uh, brake hose on this side because it was damaged. You know, that way that's not leaking and he has brakes. And then, you know, get everything done uh, together to a certain point and, uh, you know, basically test everything out. Get it to the point where this thing can actually be driven down the road and, you know, go from there. So, um, yeah, I mean, you know, everything is, everything's working out good. We got everything back together. Um, you know, little by little, I would say. Uh, but for the most part, like I said, other than going over and double checking everything and making sure stuff is assembled correctly and the bolts are tight that, you know, I touched and didn't touch, um, you know, that's kind of, that's kind of the point where we're at. And then we got to top off the tranny once we get the other side axle in and get the suspension all bolted together. I noticed the tie rod ends were loose, so I got to fix that stuff too. So, I mean, there's still a good bit of, uh, things that need to be done. Before this thing can even be started up and uh, you know test it out make sure the clutch is working make sure the trans is working make sure the motor is good make sure all the brakes are working make sure the suspension is good so we're at that point I'll show you guys some of the stuff as I'm going through here and uh, you know I get to replace that bracket again on this motor while it's in the car for the intermediate axle for the second time, I do know that this thing has a bad downpipe on it. It's leaking pretty good. So, um, honestly, like I said, I didn't even fire this car yet. So, because everything was tore apart. It's just one one step after another, and we will get this thing together. I mean, it's, it's, just, it's just come so far now already since it's been here and going back to the right direction. So, I mean, it's 100% a plus. So I'm going to get back on this. I'll show you guys what we're doing and uh, we'll get this axle in and everything else assembled. All right, well, um, sorry, we didn't really get into doing too much video and trying to get stuff done. This one here is totally stripped. This one here, we had the wrong size bolt in, made a mess of it. Now, um, what I'm doing right now is I'm replacing this bolt that someone had stuck in the control arm. Uh, this is what's supposed to be there. And uh, if you ever had one apart, you know why it has that size bolt. There's actually a little uh, slot in the um, ball joint. It's kind of like uh, a double precaution. You kind of squeeze it around and then that slides through there. It lines up with the ball joint because there's a slight circle cut into it. All right. So right now we are removing... 
Okay. So. This is what it should be. This is what they had in there as a replacement. Not safe. Safe. My control arm. Oh, look at that. Come out of there pretty easy. You can see there's our slot. Okay. So we actually got to get it. Anybody that's had something like this where you've had a ball joint come apart on a suspension or you put the wrong bolt in here, this will pop off when you hit a bump and your tire will come into your fender and depending on where you're driving, you're going to have some serious issues, okay? So it's, it's really important that you install the correct size bolt in here. I mean, you can put a different one in. But you don't want to have it like this. That's just, you're asking for problems. You want to get in trouble with yourself. I mean, worse comes to worse. You know, you could get hurt. Um, you know, damage the car. That you just either had a part and then you put the wrong part in. Um, it's, it's, you know, a safety issue that needs to be, you know, you fix this stuff right. So... Um, I mean, if you're watching the video, the brakes, I mean, they're totally, they're shot. Should be replaced. So, um, the owner says that's what he's going to do shortly here. So, I just need to make sure that this stuff is in working condition. All right. So, you know, I mean, I feel a lot safer knowing that that right there is replaced not only for the driver but for the safety of the car yeah i think that's funny it is so to help out to be nice he does need two tires current owner needs two tires we rotated them from the front to the back i don't have a wheel well to go in here um we are doing an oil change i mean the funny thing is that uh i'm pretty sure that the last oil change was done here not in this building, but done here. I mean, honestly, you know, if this was mine, uh, this is the oil I'm using. I, 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 I don't have any problems with this stuff. Um, you can, you're supposed to use synthetic oil because of the turbo, uh, and you can get it, it'll cake up in the lines. Now, someone who does good service, and with that being said, changes their oil regularly. Um, we're down to, um, you know, a very few small items here yet. We have this whole side together. Like I said, I'm doing the oil change here now. Um, I got to plug in the throttle body and that. We do have to run our piping for our turbo and get that installed. That stuff's all on. Install our vacuum line. This side over here, I got to get everything tightened up. And I will be replacing this brake hose over here. I don't know what happened with it, what he did, who did what, who knows. But, uh... <clears throat> it was leaking so it's been leaking i have a used hose i'm just going to throw a used hose on there i'm going to gravity bleed it out i'm going to double check everything like i said before we get everything fired up to make sure that everything is working right i just know if i see something that's an issue right as of now i am addressing it so that's where we're at i'm going to finish up this oil change and then i'm going to work on getting uh the suspension all back together over here I have to tighten up this tie rod end, put the shield on, and then get this caliber mounted. And then I'm going to dig out a brake hose for this side and then get it installed. So we ended up replacing the outer tie rod end. It was just messed up. So we did that. We got our brake hose on. We bled everything out. We have our spacer back on. Everything's tightened up on this side right here. So I did rotate the tires on this side also. So now we are installing our wheel there okay and um i got the hot side the middle hot side pipe coming off the turbos install i still have to tighten the clamp at the top but uh i'm down to putting the inner core on and the vacuum line assembly i didn't kind of expect to have to 
made room for all these agitations here with the tie rod end. But I know it's done right now. You know what I mean? It's at least it's better than what was. It's the best way to say that. So brakes, brake pedal felt good. Uh, clutch pedal felt good. I still need to inspect the push rod if I need to dash yet. And, uh, you know, kind of go from there. But uh, we're still using the Craftsman gun. Seems to work pretty good. All right, so right now I have the battery in. I did try to start it off camera. Uh, it kind of clicked. So I have my jump pack on. It's hard to say whether the terminals were a little loose up here or the fact that this battery was just dead from sitting for a while uh, because the car was not being driven and needed some repair. So we do have some things that are not plugged in. You know, temperature sensor, uh, we don't have the, we don't have the uh, boost solenoids plugged in because I don't have the vacuum lines on. Basically, and we're the intercooler. So right now what we're doing is we're actually firing this thing up and we're going to test it out and see what happens. <laughs> So the clutch felt good. Uh, the transmission felt really good. Um, so right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw the charger on this one. Where is he working on? Uh, throw the battery on charge while I'm working on getting the rest of this uh, installation finished up. And um, we're going to double check our oil. We put five quarts in, so it should be plenty. Uh, we'll double check the cooling. And, you know, um, basically, I mean, this thing is actually ready for a road test drive right now at, uh, well, once it actually finished, I finished putting the rest of these parts on. Um, I did plug off that one part here that is typically a vacuum leak if you don't have your vacuum solenoids on. So I'm just going to pull the battery out and set it off to the side. We're going to throw that on charge. I'm going to get the rest of these vacuum lines in. I can show you guys hooking them up since now I have the opportunity. So... Along with that, we're going to get this intercooler installed and take this thing for a drive. <laughs> 